Hey guys, uh, sorry about the weird like lighting thing we got going here right now, but how's that? I am at my brother's place. Me and Rich and Boogie are here watching my nephew because Brian's at work. And I went to pick up the mail and got a box! So this box we're going to open, it's a little different than what we've been doing. It is not death products. Not Halloween products. It's, um, it's from the house of wax melts. Okay, now you guys all know I got the really cool, damn my hair is short, that I got the really cool, and no, I do not have an eyebrow ring in here no more, it's just a weird indent. My eyebrow rings used to be on this side, so I ain't got no hair there, see? But, uh, <laughs> what? Retarded. <laughs> Richie says I'm retarded. Only on Tuesdays, today's not your day. Anyhow, uh, everybody knows I got that really cool, like, wax warmer. It was the, the, uh, skull grave digger one. So, I'm completely in love with it. I've been, like, toying with the, uh, making my own little wax melts there for myself and all kinds of things. And I've been asking, you know, like, uh, my, uh, my friend Matt, how do I do it, this and that, the whole nine, and slowly learning how to do it and slowly doing it. So, I figured, you know some, I'm gonna actually get some that are, like, lush dupes. So I went ahead and I got Lush Dupe Wax. Extremely different than what we've been doing. I, I don't... And it came like this. It came in more boxes. That's different. Uh, Rich, I think I'm going to need another knife. Let's move this box out of the way and let's start on the one that's not taped together here. Wow. Mm. Holy cow, these smell awesome. Here, with those open for you. <laughs> These smell good. Now, I mainly went with the Lush dupes simply because that's my thing. I love Lush. I love the Lush scents. I know the Lush scents, so I went after them simply because I know them. Urgh. Got it. Alright, ripped it open. Ooh. Oh, cool. Okay. They come in, oh, all right. Let me give you guys, huh? Yeah, open them all. Okay, they come in these little, like, hold on, it's like kind of taped to the, they come in little, like, pouchy things. She wraps them all up like this so nothing bad happens to them. If there are any children watching this, shut it off now. No kids to watch this one. This is not for children. There is something in here that cannot be seen by a baby or if you don't want to explain the birds and bees to your kid, wow. tell your kid to get the hell out of the room. Really? Yeah, this is... Well, you'll see. Okay, the first things we have here are the Signature Pumpkin Spice. And these are fairly big for a wax melt. Let's see what they smell like, though. Oh, wow, I can smell it right through the packaging. Wow, this is... This is a pumpkin spice. Like, a complete pumpkin spice scent. That good. And they're fairly big. I mean, if you look at them on my hand, each one is pretty big. So I think getting these four, I mean, I could even like chop it in half and be happy with it, but of course I'm going to do the whole one. Alright, so I'm very happy with that. Um, oh, samples! Samples, samples! The olive branch scent. We got to check that out. Olive branch scent, scent is my favorite. Oh, wow! It is the olive branch. It smells just like pop in the bath. It smells like olive branch, and it smells like the penguin, the Christmas penguin, because that's the olive branch scent. Wow! Holy cow, what an awesome dupe, man. Whoa! All right, so this one is my sample. It does smell just like the olive branch. Holy shit, what was the name of the company again? Uh, House of Wax Melts, Etsy.com. I'll link them down below for you guys. So you guys can jump on. Uh, she sent me another sample. Ooh, American cream sample. <laughs> Boogie's excited. <laughs> okay, so American cream. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. This is my conditioner. Yeah, most definitely. This is American cream. What are you giggling about? Sorry. What are you doing? I saw that you talked about that. Oh yeah, why kids can't watch it? I don't want to bother anyone's child with this, so... They're going to write off rip, so they could have watched it afterwards. 
you know, you're right. I should show it to them now, and then the kids can come back in and bother them all they want. This is Dreamsicle. This one here is not a Lush dupe. So she sent me two samples of Lush dupes and then one of a regular product. Now, Dreamsicle, I would take, would be the orange kind of Dreamsicle thing. Wow. This is creamsicle. This this is it says dream sickle. D-R-E-A-M. But it is, and let me pull it out for you. It is, it does smell just like an orange creamsicle. Oh man, I wish I had my wax melty thing here with me now. I would so drop this in. I like this one. I tried to go for all lush dupes and she sent me samples of lush dupes, so that's awesome. And this one, I'm ordering this one again. Okay, before I get into the thing that children cannot see, she also sent me the House of Wax button. She has buttons on her site that she sells. They're like a dollar. But I just think it's really awesome and really cool. And she sent me one of them, so awesome. I love this. I will actually pin this to my jacket or bag immediately. Okay, here is the item that children cannot see. This item is in the Dirty Scent. All right, all right. Hold Bug. Dolphins are deaf because of you. 90% of the dolphin population is done. All right. <laughs> These are penis-shaped Dirty Scent Lush Dupe Wax Melts. They're huge dicks, I gotta tell you. These are some huge wax melts. They got blue balls. And Richie thinks they have blue balls. See? Look at that. They have blue balls. They are big dicks, though, I'll tell you that much. I absolutely got a kick out of this. I love this. I think this is such a cool idea. Just to, you know, for like a bachelorette party or a goof or something like that. To have penis-shaped wax melts. I want to do this so bad. Crazy. Oh my god, it is the dirty scent. How does the dick smell? <laughs> how, does, how does the dick smell? The dick smells amazing. <laughs> Oh, man. oh my god, the dick smells just like Lush's Dirty Scent. Oh, I love it! This is gonna, oh, this is gonna be so sick. You know how bad I could run with this right now and just be, like, the dirty mind just, just come out? But, okay, your children can now come back in the room and listen to me talk. I will not, if I do show these again, I'll show them as this. But this is the Dirty Scent. It smells so good! Alright, we have two other little boxes to go through. So let's have at it. I'm excited. They all smell so good. Okay, once again, wrapped up in the bubble wrap, which I just kind of like unwrapped it. I'm so sorry, guys, that he's he's wigging out, but it's Boog. I can't, you know, he's a baby. I can't tell him, no, don't cry. This is the Rockstar. So it's supposed to smell like Lush's Rockstar. Now everybody knows Rockstar is one of my favorites. Twilight Confident Rockstar, and then I think it has to go into like Dragon's Egg scent, and Dirty, and Olive Branch, and Green. I'm trying, buddy. Hold on. Holy shit! If I had the soap next to me right now, I would not be able to tell the difference whatsoever. Flip that light back on. I would not be able to. It is it, man, I wish I had, like, smell of vision I wouldn't be able to tell the difference between the soap and the wax. This is amazing. I'm a big fan of Rockstar. It was one of the first scents, that and the Sultana of Soap, were the first two soaps that I ever purchased from Lush. And I did not like Rockstar in the very, very beginning. I let it sit on my shelf for a week, and then it fell absolutely in love. That is a definite... Her, her scents are perfect dupes. I am very, very happy. Oh, here is what I just grabbed. This is the Full Harvest. And it is these cool little skulls. And I have the same mold. So if you have... Uh, if you have spoken to me or anything and you've seen that I've done wax melts too, I'm trying to make my own in the house. I have the same mold, so I have a couple of skulls at home of like cucumber melon scent and stuff. But let's give this one a quick little whiff. Oh, it kind of smells like... kind of smells like a witch's brew almost. I really like this one. This one's a go. This one's really good. So I'm liking this one and I'm liking these skulls. I, def I love the fact you can smell them out of the plastic. They're amazing. I am really happy with this place. And, you know, and I was just talking to uh, Jean from the Mad Bombers today, and I had thought I ordered from the same place that she had, and it turned out I didn't, and she said, oh, you're going to love them. They're a good place, too. 
And I was a little nervous, and I was like, oh man, they're coming in today. So I gotta jump on and let her know that, absolutely in love, she was right. This is the Comforter scent. And Comforter is another one of my favorite. Let's check out Comforter. I got high hopes, guys. I hope you guys too. Love this a little bit, baby. All right, Comforter is a little different. Yeah, Comforter is not the same type of Comforter that you would think. It's not... I don't know, it might smell different when I melt it. So I'm going to have to hold this one and melt it and see if it smells closer to the Comforter. But to me, Comforter has a bit more of a tangier berry smell. And this one is not it. So no, I'd have to say no on the Comforter. So no on the Comforter, but a definite double thumbs up on everything else is to the T. But no on Comforter. So Comforter is a no-go, but I will melt it. And maybe when I melt it, it'll bring that smell out. Because the same thing with bath bombs... Once they hit water, they kind of, you kind of bring that smell out. Last box. Oh my god, it's so bad. <gasps> so white. So white is Lush's like kind of apple smell. Don't fail me, please don't fail me. Oh god, House of Wax Melts, please don't. Oh, it's so white. It is. It's all so white. Oh my god, it smells so good. And it is, it's like a palish white pink. So it's kind of like, like a two color type deal. It's beautiful. Oh my god. This woman needs to make like, like solid perfumes. If she made solid perfumes, I would buy all of them. These are so good. Alright, so I wasn't happy with Comforter, but I am extremely happy with everybody else. I'm gonna purchase again. I'm definitely gonna purchase again. Without fail. Oh, I got my absolute most favorite. It's gonna be the last one I show you. Oh, Lord of Misrule. I hope Lord of Misrule is the amazing Lord of Misrule scent. And look at the coloring. It's like green, white, pink. It's really pretty. I wish I had better lighting. Is my brother home? Yeah. All right, my brother just came home. So let's do the... Oh, got the hangy tag thing got stuck in. Let's do Lord of Misrule. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, it, that's it. That's Lord of Misrule. Look how pretty it is. Can you see, like, without the light kind of glaring? It is so pretty. Most definitely, this is the Lord of Misrule scent. Oh, my God. Yeah, I definitely like this one. I definitely like this one. I definitely think this is Lord of Misrule scent. It is really, really nice. It's potent, so I'm very happy with the Lord of Misrule. Very happy. Now, here is the last one that I ordered, and it is definitely my absolute most favorite scent that Lush makes. All you know who, what it is. I go nuts when Lush brings them into the kitchen. Yeah, I mean, trust me. Who needs six or eight bottles? I do. Okay, I have like four bottles left. So just so you guys know. <laughs> Twilight. This is the Twilight Wax Melt. If this is failed and this is not Twilight, I'm going to cry. You ready, guys? It's all, it's beautiful. It's got glitter on the front. So she did do it good. Okay. Don't fail, don't fail, don't fail. Alright, let's just take a quick look at it. See all the glitters in it? So it is beautiful. It's a light lilac color. It's very pretty. I'm so scared. It's... It's twilight. It is twilight. Off, it's a little off from Twilight, though. A teeny <coughs> bit off. I smelled it before I gave it to you. You smelled it before you gave it to me? Yeah. I'm not saying anything. What do you think? It's a little off. I said, you I think it's a little off? It's not, the, it's not an exact off. Twilight dupe. Okay. I'm about to start crying. <laughs> but it's not bad. It is Twilight. But like many people who try to take over the Twilight smell, oh, they're good. missing something. Uh, it's like lavender, tonka, and vanilla... And there's something else to it that Lush won't give up. And you know something? It is missing that little something. So I'm not exactly too sure on what it's missing. It smells like Twilight, but it's a little... Something's missing. So I don't really know. Hey, Ryan. My brother just walked in from work. So, okay. So Twilight is a no-go. I don't think I would reorder Twilight from this company, but I'm going to try the company that Jean suggested and order from them. And I'm also going to try and get my own. So, Xnay on the Twilight and the Comforter scents, as of right now, not melting them. 
So after I melt them, I'll definitely let you guys know if they are a go or a no-go. But so far from the company, I do not like these two because they're not exact. They're close. I gotta say, for all the, all the dupes that I've smelled, these two are extremely close, but they're not an exact. But for exact Lush dupes, you have Dirty is exact. You have, what was this one? The Olive Branch, the sample she sent me, is exact. American Cream, exact American Cream scent. Uh, Dreamsicle is amazing. Rockstar is 100%. This is Rockstar. I could not tell the difference between the soap and this one. Lotomus Rule, can't tell the difference. So white, absolutely amazing. Very, very happy I spent the money on these. Um, the Signature Pumpkin Spice was an amazing scent. And the same thing for the Fall Harvest. So I am very much loving everything. The only two... Oh, and the button. The button she sent me. So I like the button. I like the buttons a lot. I love getting those little pins. I want to get the bat pin that was in like the spooky box, I think it was. I want to get that one. Not the bite me pin, but the, bot, the bat looking, the cute little bat. The only two that are iffies, which we're going to have to light, we're gonna light them. We're going to have to melt them down and smell them, would be Twilight and Comforter. I got to say, though, they're not... They don't smell... Maybe they have to be stronger. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's not strong enough. They don't smell like exact dupes. They're very, very, very close. The closest I've seen any company who's trying to make a dupe get would have to be right here, but it's not it. These? Absolutely amazing. I mean, all of these are... They're perfect. All the, the samples she sent me, they're all exact dupes. They're all dupes of Lush products. So I am... And the dirty ones? The dirty does come in a clamshell like this, or it comes in what I've ordered. So, I kind of like what I ordered. I thought it was cool. Um, definitely, though, as soon as I get home, I am going to burn or melt, I think, Rockstar down. Or maybe Lotus Miss Rule. I think I want to do Lotus Miss Rule. So, as soon as I get home, I can smell Rockstar right through the packaging. It's that strong. As soon as I get home, I am going to hit these in the wax melter and go ahead and melt them down. Uh, throughout the night, I, of course, I'm going to switch it out and everything, and I will be melting the Twilight and the Comforter. And I will let you guys know in the morning, in our next uh, demo, our next bath bomb demo, what I thought of them after they have melted and released their scent. Because everything could change once you melt it. Same thing with a bath bomb. Once I, I don't like a bath bomb the way it smells, I drop it in the water, it smells amazing, I fall in love with it. So we'll see how everything goes. But as of right now, House of Wax Melts is a definite go for, and I will link them down below for you guys. I definitely do like these. I definitely do like these. The only two that I believe are slightly off are my... Unfortunate, my favorite, which is Twilight and my Comforter. The two most favorite scents that I have, Twilight, Comforter, Olive Branch, Rockstar. These two are the only two that didn't make it, so I'm going to have to keep trying companies to see if I can find the exact dupes to Comforter and Twilight. If anybody can help me out with that, let me know of a company. Write it in the comments down below. Alright, guys. Thank you very much to House of Wax Melts. It is an Etsy shop. I will have it linked down below for you guys. And, uh, yeah, I'll let you know how everything goes. So, I am one happy camper. I'm going to load everything back into its box and get ready to go home because my brother is now off of work. And I'm going to go home and play with my wax melter and have some fun and uh, put Boogie to bed finally. So, I love you all, and I will talk to you again soon. If you enjoy this video and this little haul that we did here from House of Wax Melts, hit that thumbs up button and let me know. Also, if you are not subscribed to this channel, hit that button down below, subscribe, turn on your notifications so that way you know the next demo, bath bomb, giveaway, or anything else that we do on this channel. You'll be notified first as soon as I put them up. So I love you, and I will talk to you again soon. Have a good night, guys. Bye!